it's it's how it's learning how to how to read how liquid thinks I, I was working with them for quite some time so you get a general sense of how they feel about the game and uh, this is going to be pretty common for them just because uh, I know for a fact that Matsu really likes the timber saw. Uh, first tower destruction, five to eight. S total number of smoke gain kills at the end. I think this is going to be a high number. Yeah, I'm going to say nine to twelve. Oh, DDC. Up looks top. like he's dead. Okay, so Liquid needs things like this, and getting it on your death profit is probably the best hero that you can possibly get first blood on. Is yeah, mid laner. Cool. Timber saw at bottom, like we talked about, is getting absolute farm, but uh, still a little bit of concern. Of course, is always that the storm's gonna have an okay game. Is Kuro's now dead? Dope. He is level four, so that is uh, oh, a kill that's worth quite a lot. They are going to try and dive on a no no with Fada, not quite there. Meanwhile, the smoke up, Jarex, he's gonna be able to catch FY still to get the turnaround kill with the help of Matuba Man, it seems like, or not. Matsu is not actually gonna go down. They chained all the way to left, and. Oh, no. FY fast enough. Meanwhile, over at mid, no, no. Just saw him zip across the map. He's just trying to make it go on the Fada there. That was incredibly greedy by Matuma, man. Yeah. He could have just had one, but instead, now Fada's going to go down mid. Yeah, give the kill to no, no. Yep. And there's even going to be a regen rune at the top. No. That was pretty godly by Mikasa as a rotation. Yeah, His... this is this is only a taste of what we were talking about, right? But when, when we're talking about the, the draft and how we see things matching up, and then you see the laning phase, you see this 4-0 start. That had to happen for Liquid just to make this this strategy kind of look yeah. good. Liquid up the top, they gotta get going as Mind Control should be dead here. No has got full mana. And they're gonna drop the Tombstone here, try and help Mind Control out with a little bit of heal. Kuro is still gonna be caught though. Silence up, hit by the stun, and Matu unable to do much about this one. And until Fada comes in now, it looks like there's a separation of thought here. Matsu doesn't actually back Fada's play. Finally comes in with the Timber Chain. They'll be able to catch DDC, but that really was all. Maybe they could have caught a little bit more if they went back in together. Matsu still looking for the dive here, and he's going to try and slow him down. The Timber Chain will get the distance close, and is going to be run down even further. They have the Spirit Siphon on him. Double Silence, push back, though. On the background, Jerex is going to be gone on by Nono. He expended all of his mana for that one. Fada turns towards him, gets a little bit more damage out. Looks like Mind Control is going to try and run him down while the rest of BGR focusing down Fada, and they'll get him, too. The Exorcism, not enough. Nono staying one step ahead of Mind Control, but finally the right clicks will finish him off. Him and Montu. Mind Control and Montu. Matu looking for more. DDC is going to be slowed down. The Flame Break pushes him back. He's got a lot of sticky napalm stacks, but it doesn't look like it's quite enough. And you're worried about anything at all. You just immediately transition into the Radiant Jungle. And it looks like VGR, they're still okay to take this fight. It's 3v5. They can TP in two heroes, but Liquid... Yeah, they're but gonna they're running the right to past the Tier 1 tower. It looks like they may actually be sandwiched here. Jarex is going to start things off with a simple Fatal. Getting a little damage out. Kuro going to be the target here for the Skyrim Mage. Could finish off that ultimate, and now they're actually trouble on two sides. Storm Spirit's going to have to jump back, but straight to the hands of the rest of Liquid. It's all three cores are right by the Tier 1 tower. No, no, is going to be run down. Pops a little bit more, tries to get the jump out. They're Not in time. Over at Jarex, they're going to go for FY, while DDC is going to be run down by the three cores of Liquid. Without a doubt, he is 100% dead. Now it just comes down to a question of whether Jerex actually dropped his mana boots so we could pop the wand for the little bit of extra mana and zips him down with the faithful. Jerex is, when he plays that Rubik, to be a carry again. EGR though, I, they're still in a pretty good position. I, I still favor their draft in some ways because like we saw right there at Liquid, they had to out-execute, they had to out-maneuver, but I think BGR's lineup, it's more of when it'll happen. Yeah. In a way. All it takes is one good fight by them. They're gonna die apart for this. They do have the tombstone out. Matu finally ends up going down. Now they can turn on the tombstone. That's not gonna be safe. But BGR all very low. Maybe they can get some redemption for the timber saw. Mikasa, he's gonna be the first one to go down. The jump oh, that jump. Eric, and he got DDC as well. Mind control will pull back end, and that is surely worth it for Team Liquid. That. Trading the timber saw for three. Jarex with that stolen ball lightning. Cross playing a storm sitting behind the storm spirit yeah which is why i think this is kind of a scary move by liquid to make the only time you should ever assault into your own jungle like this is a you're either smoking or b you're in forces five and liquid is neither that and they might just lose a hero for free as a result yeah they certainly and we just talked about hey beast master with a primal war with a combination of fy to jump in from no no the last bit of mana needed 
but it's enough to get the timber saw. But Fada, he sees this opportunity. He's got a spirit cycling forward. The swap goes down. They turn and stun Fada, and they have the Necronomicon minions down. But now the turnaround. Jarex actually comes in with a primal roar of his own, blows out the Beastmaster, stops DDC's teleport out, and Liquid. Mm, it feels like that engagement's okay for them. Obviously, Matumba Man's uh, timber saw is big. What? And he didn't just run away. He took that tier one tower, stuck around. I'm not sure why, because surely he should have known that Liquid were on their way. And now that makes it definitely worth it. I was going to say a tier one lost. Plus the storm. Uh, whereas Liquid's lineup is more predicated on the fact of getting constant pickoffs and getting into a straight on push scenario seems a little bit scary, but. Yeah. The smoke, smoke up. They're gonna run into Liquid. It's gonna be an awkward fight. They're gonna have to go into the high ground. And of course, that forward actually gets Kuro out of danger. A run in from No No is gonna try and chase down Kuro. But meanwhile, in the middle of the fight, we already see the Beastmaster being taken out. Now they're gonna try and focus down Fada. But he managed to get the Yules off, but just gets blown off by the physical damage. Maybe Matu can turn things around. He will be able to take out the Aegis. He gets a little bit more damage on DDC, but it's all trying to full out retreat. Well, with the stolen swap will save. Turn around, kill DDC. But no, no's on the hunt. He still managed to chase down Matumba Man. FY will not be victim to Jerix's shenanigans just yet. Four down from Team Liquid, and VGR only lose two plus the Aegis. Arcane. Okay, so Storm Dream. This means that VG it's now VGR's time to strike, right? Yeah, you just wait just for the exorcism. The ghosts are almost down. I don't think Liquid expects this fight. It's the big thing. Yeah. They might just run into Matumba Man here. Surprise, Matumba Man. Oh, there's a the forest map. He gets a little bit of space. Mata is going to lose his exorcism now, though. There goes a lot of the damage. No, no, he's silenced up. Matumba Man can't quite get the damage. Now he's the one silenced up. But Liquid, oh, they're, they're actually ripping through all of these heroes one by one. One. They're cleaning up the rest of the side lane. Jerex is actually going to be able to survive through that. They easily get the kill there. And on the side, and is also going to die on the Draw Ranger. So, quit. Whether they expected it or not, they managed to win that fight. And now, are they in a position to go high ground? They don't have Exorcism, but it no. looks like they're going to draw. 28 and a half minutes in, and it feels like the game has swung back the favor of Team Liquid. We're talking about these periods of time, these these small, it's it's the difference of like three or four minutes, but these these periods of time where one team has advantage, but oh, that swap, swap back in, they're gonna be able to pop Fada, maybe the roar goes down, and the old scepter goes off for Fada. He's still gonna get taken out by No No, but they do manage to get some damage out in return. BGR gonna pursue. They've already taken out two, and they've got No No on the high ground. Oh, it takes a a lot of damage from Matumba Man. Kuro not going to be able to get around a range of that tier 2 tower. He ends up dropping oh, to the shot and Matumba Man, Man too. he's too far out. Silence 1, Silence 2, and VGR will claim 4 for 2. That was absolutely sick combination by VGR. So they say to themselves, VGR, if you think about it, they said, okay, our roar is just not working. Like, yeah. We should start getting out as a group because there's no way they're going to win this team fight. They start drawing it, but they're not getting out fast enough. Maybe they actually want to fight around here. They're going to put Matumba Man on the front line, baiting him out. The Primal War goes down, but already an Orchid on to Jerex. That's going to stop a lot of the momentum. No, no, he's actually lactoed up, though, and Jerex may actually survive. BKB goes down, Primal War on to Nodo. That'll stop the damage even further. Fada out there with the Exorcism. Gets the old Scepter off, dodging a lot of that Sky Rock. Ultimate. He still has spirit scythes, but the physical damage is about to overwhelm him. He does go down, but the Draw Ranger is gone as well, and no no's out. He loses the Aegis and PGR down five, what? and now Storm Spirit comes back up. They get the Telekinesis. Do they have the burst damage? No way. No no. Bounce around. Oh, what, what is the lightning battle? No no. What a jump, and he got him. Jerex. Unbelievable. Jerex, what a god on the support position. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap! I I cannot believe that Liquid won this team fight. It logically makes no sense. That first jump of Storm. If you want to get a kill? If you don't, then you're kind of just you're just kind of stuck there. You're not really sure what to do. Initiation up here at the top lane. They're gonna go for end. DDC's ready to go with the swap, but this swap may not actually save him. Mind control already in place. Doesn't have the lasso just yet, but he's got the fire damage coming out. No, no, it's actually gonna be able to stop him. Looks like mind control will get popped, and DDC will be the traded life, but he is fine with that. He sacrifices his life to get his team to kill on the Bat Rider and, and save the, the Dro Ranger and the gem. Yeah, that's of items that allows Liquid to like go and try and take five bands again against VGR, or is it just opportunities? Uh, probably, oh, this is gonna be 
This is gonna be a rough disaster. One. Yeah, four versus five. Already a jump in from No No. He caught my control and maybe might be able to pop him. Yeah, there it goes down. Primal Roar on the curl as well. Spada is gonna be left almost alone against all these teams. A sea of VGR heroes. Exorcism not going to be enough as he gets immediately right clicked down. That was the help of Drown Rangers physical damage. The big issue there is that. Liquid, they were walking around this ward, and Matama Man actually never walked past it. Oh. So they learned so late. That As they Matama do have Man. the boots to travel on Timbersaw, he's going to start TPing into the mid lane while the rest of Mind, con uh, mind Control and his boys push out of the four man here. They're going to try and grab No No and burst him down as quick as possible. They sell the Telekinesis. Lotus Sword goes out, beat him, he activated by No No. Kuro is going to be the target of No No with this invulnerability. The Kasa, meanwhile, as well, and that fly, they're going to be run down by Fada. Goes up next. And he's going to be targeting. They surround this draw ranger as quick as possible. No, no. Back in with the reinforcements, but N still going to be dropped here by the exorcism as he just cannot survive. The, uh, the Aegis finally down, and they pop the storm spirit. Next up, like number two of N, but a draw ranger without any allies would surely be dead if it wasn't for that invisibility. There's a lot of gems on the ground. <laughs> There's just, yeah, it's it's slot. They sell the eggs. Grab the Dagon five. Storm Spirit still has that arcane the Hawk might have gotten a little bit of idea of that smoke. Not quite sure. If not, it's going to get some information that they're not seeing anybody in base. And looks like VGR. Oh, the boar is going to spot him out as the smoke pops. No, no, is going to jump over. Trying to go for curl first. But the right man is so Matamba Man just losing it. And VGR are now going to steamroll through Liquid, it seems. They have the tombstone out. Fawn is trying to make his retreat. He has the exorcism plus some spirit sizes. But inevitably, he's going to get right clicked down. The pull back there with the help of Lotus Orb goes after time some time. He's getting a lot of damage out, but it's just never going to be enough. VGR tanking his five and will finally kill him. Buyback immediately there from one. But he doesn't have the exorcism, nor do they have Matumba Man. He's still 30 seconds down in the grave. I not not sure why Matumba Man got so far away from the rest of his team. BGR probably would have lost that fight if Liquid stayed together as a group. If you just consider how long that Death Prophet survived for, mm -hmm. she did so much damage. But the other primary damage dealer in this Timber Saw just kind of went in one v four, and Nono with his BKB was so hard to take down because he still has 2400 HP and 30 armor on him. This is a hero that doesn't go down easily. And now Liquid gonna get Mega Creeps. I think Ana comes in, gets swapped actually, pops the BKB, but physical damage on the right hand side from N is destroying N. But Tumba Man's gonna be up next as he's sitting inside the Skyrim Mage also, and just like that, GG is called Team Liquid and VGR. We set the story here that VGR would need at least one win against Team Liquid to really turn around their score in the group stage right now. They've already done it in game number one. We'll see what happens in game number two though. Yeah, in this game, I think, like we talked about, VGR had the superior draft, or at least the easier to execute draft, even though mm -hmm. Liquid.